In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations simultaneously. You can do this with the elimination method, the substitution method, or with matrices. We're going to look at the simplest method, the elimination method, and these are the four examples we're going to cover. When you solve simultaneously, you actually work out the coordinate where the two lines or equations intersect, like so. We can move on to some examples. With our first example, 2x plus 3y equals 11, and 2x minus 4y equals 4, we can see that the x's are the same, and that means that we don't have to multiply any of the equations uh, to carry on with the elimination method. So firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the two equations, and we don't need to multiply the equations by anything. So we can just say, first equation subtracted by the second equation and I'm going to write them out again and your second equation 2x negative 4y equals 4 so now you subtract these two equations 2x minus 2x is 0x positive 3y minus minus 4y is 7y because of the double minus it changes into a plus so it's 7y and 11 minus 4 is 7 now you are left with 7y equals 7 so now to get the y on its own you need to divide both sides by 7 which will give you y is equal to 1 so now what you can do is to find the x value you can substitute the y equals 1 into equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter. You'll get the same answer. So let's say you chose the second equation. So it's 2x minus 4 and the y value is 1, which we just calculated, equals 4. So this will then be 2x minus 4. And then to get the plus to the minus 4 on the other side, you say plus 4. And what you do on the one side, you do on the other side. So now you are left with 2x equals 8. And now to get the x on its own, you need to divide by the coefficient 2. Now you are left with x equals 4, which is your final answer. Now you can go back and substitute the values of x and y into the equation to double check and see if you have the correct answer. Now moving on to the second example, 2x plus 3y equals 13 and negative 2y plus 3x equals 0. So firstly again, going to label the two equations and now you can see the format of the equations is different than the first example. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the second equation so that the x is first and the y is second like so now you can look at your first equation again and see that you have 2x and your second equation you have 3x uh, and you have 3y for your first equation and you have negative 2y for your second equation so now you can choose which variable you want to eliminate, the x or the y. So let's say you wanted to eliminate the x. So now you need to make the x's the same. So you have 3x and 2x. You need the lowest common multiple between the two numbers. And the lowest common multiple for 3 and 2 is 6. So with your first equation, you need to multiply it by 3. So 2x multiplied by 3 is 6x. 3y multiplied by 3 is 9y. And 13 multiplied, multiplied by 3 is 39. Now your second equation, you just need to multiply by 2. 3x multiplied by 2 is 6x. Negative 2y multiplied by 2 is negative 4y, and 0 multiplied by 2 is still 0. 
So now we can subtract these two equations from each other. So 6x negative 6x is 0x. 9y minus minus 4y is 13y. Just because of the double negative turns into a positive. And 39 subtracted by 0 is still 39. So now to get the y on its own, you need to divide by the coefficient. And then you get your y as 3. So now, as I said before, you can substitute the y equals 3 into any of your equations. You will get the same answer. So let's say you substitute it into the first one. So you get 2x plus 3, and then your y value, which is 3, equals 13. 2x, 3 times 3 is 9, equals 13. To get the 2x on its own, you need to subtract 9 from both sides. Then you are left with 2x equals 13 minus 9 is 4. So now to get the x on its own, you need to divide by the coefficient. And you will get your x as 2. Now, yet again, you can go back and substitute your y equals 3 and x equals 2 into any of the two equations to see if you get the correct answer. Moving on to a bit more tricky example, uh, but in principle, it's still exactly the same thing. So I'm going to label this as 1 and label this as equation 2. Now, I'm going to write 2 in my own standard form. So 2 will be 3x plus 2y equals 9. And now we can look at the x's. In the first equation, we have 4x. In the second one, we have 3x. In the first equation, we have negative 5y. And in your second equation, you have positive 2y. So for this example, I'm going to eliminate the y's. So we want the y's to be the same. So you want to find the lowest common multiple of 5 and 2, which is 10. So I'm going to rewrite the equations. I'm going to multiply the first one by 2. So 4x multiplied by 2 is 8x. Negative 5y multiplied by 2 is negative 10y. And then 12 multiplied by 2 is 24. So now, the second equation multiplied by 5. So 3x multiplied by 5 is 15x. Plus 2y multiplied by 5 is positive 10y. And then that equals to 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. Now, as in the previous examples, we had to subtract the two equations from each other. But in this case, we can add the two equations to each other because we have a negative 10y and a positive 10y. And when you add the negative 10y and the positive 10y together, then you get zero. So that's how we eliminate the y. So with this, we are going to add them together. 15 plus 8 is 23. So 23x. The y's cancel out. 24 plus 45 is 69. Now you are left with 23x equals 69. To get the x on its own, you divide by the coefficient. And then you can see your x would be equal to 3. Now, yet again, you can substitute your x value into equation 1 or equation 2. You will still get the same answer if you do it correctly. So let's say you do the first equation. So it's 4 and your x value is 3. Minus 5y equals 12. 
4 times 3 is 12. Negative 5y equal 12. To get the 12 on its own, you need to subtract 12 from both sides. Then you will be left with negative 5y equals 0. Subtract. Divide both sides by negative 5. And then you get your y as 0. So you can go back and plug your x value and your y value into the equations to see if everything works out. Now for the most difficult example in this video, we are still going to do the elimination method. I'm going to label the equations 1 and 2 and I'm going to write them into my own standard form with the x's first, then the y's and then equal to the constant. So if you bring the negative 7x to the left hand side, it becomes positive 7x, then positive 5y. And to get the negative 43 to the right side of the equation, you add it by 43. So it's going to be positive 43. In your second equation, you go to 4x first, negative 3y equals seven and there you have your equations one and two in your own standard form now you can choose if you want to eliminate the x's or the y's i'm going to eliminate the y's so i'm going to look at the lowest common multiple of five and three which is 15. so with your first equation you are going to multiply it by 3. And 7 times 3 is 21x. 5y times 3 is 15y. Then 43 times 3 is 129. Now with your second equation, you need to multiply it by 5. So 4x multiplied by 5 is 20x. Negative 3y times 5 is negative 15y. And 7 times 5 is 35. So now you can see that you have a positive 15y and a negative 15y. So now you need to add the two equations together to get the y's to cancel out. So 21x plus 20x is 41x the 15y and negative 15y cancels out and 129 plus 35 is 164 and if you divide both sides by 41 you get your x as 4 now yet again you have your x value you can substitute it into any one of these equations I'm going to use equation 2, so negative 3y plus 4, and then your value for x, which is 4, equals 7. So negative 3y plus 4 times 4 is 16, equals 7. Now subtract 16 from both sides to get the negative 3y on its own. Now, negative 3y is on its own. 7 minus 16 is negative 9. Now, divide both sides by the co coefficient negative 3. And you get your y value as 3. Now, you can go back and substitute your y and your x values into any one of the equations to see if it balances out. Thank you so much for watching. And good luck on your math journey.